Welcome back to another how-to video. Today is going to be on spraying interior walls. So we'll give you a demonstration of how to use a sprayer. Uh, this is a commercial sprayer. It's a high-end one. You guys can buy the cheaper ones at Home Depot or you can rent them at numerous places. Your rental places have them. So if you don't want to purchase one, you can rent one. Today we'll go through and kind of show you. We pre-primed everything with an oil-based paint when we go into this room so that way you can kind of see it. Uh, he'll show you pictures of the bathroom. This place had a bunch of graffiti, so you got to use the oil-based paint. It helps hide any dog smell or if there happens to be dog or urine or anything on the walls or floors or in the corners. It kind of hides it all, so it'll help you cover it up. So uh, we did use an oil-based uh, kill. Uh, today, uh, Sean's going to be showing you guys how to use the sprayer and running you through it. So wait there, everybody. Okay, let's go to the back bedroom. When we go back, there's a bathroom. He'll go ahead and video the ceiling, but the uh, whole house was had graffiti throughout. So right here, you can see uh, there was a kid that loved, I guess, crayons or some kind of painting and markers. And this is why we use the oil-based paint, because it won't clean up. Uh, we're trying to scrub it, but it'll hide it and cover up. Otherwise, if you try to paint uh, over this with your water-based paints, it'll peel or it won't cover up and it'll, uh, we call it shrink out and uh, expose itself right back again. So we'll go back into the bedroom here. This is the bedroom that we started. Uh, Sean came in yesterday and just rolled out uh, the walls and the ceiling and everything with the oil oil-based paint. It's a kill product. Uh, it is designed for this type of thing. So right now he has a sprayer. He'll kind of tell you about the different tips, what they're used for, and he'll start spraying. Hi, right, I'm Sean. Um, I'm actually going to be spraying this room that we're in here today. Um, as you see, uh, as, mentioned, as Ron mentioned earlier, uh, we actually apply a kills product which is a stain blocking primer. So when we apply this water-based uh, paint, um, no stains are gonna show through there on after. Um, the tip we'll be using for this particular uh, room is actually a 515, which means we're going to get 10 inches of coverage. They've got many different tips for many different applications, but for this particular application, this is what we'll be using. All right, I'm gonna actually start by uh, just doing a short demonstration on the proper way to uh, use one of these paint sprayers. Um, first thing in particular is actually wrist control. You always wanna stand either 12 to about 18 inches away from the wall that you're spraying. And uh, you always want to keep close to a 90 degree angle with your sprayer. You want to avoid at all costs rolling the sprayer because that will give you an inconsistent layer of paint. So the proper application in this matter, like I said, is keeping a 90 degree angle from what you're painting. doing that it also what it does is it lets the sprayer making sure that it's working correctly because it, it'd really be bad that here you are starting on a wall and all of a sudden you got a plug or something shoots through the tip plugs it up or spurts on the wall and you're starting out bad right off the bat so by doing a primer piece like that he's verifying that the sprayer is working correctly you can hear the pump running and you guys will be able to hear it throughout this video all right, one last tip before we get painting. You always have to remember to overlap your spray by 50%.
Okay, now we've got the whole room painted as you can scan around and look. One thing you do notice that everything is painted the same color. We do that for two, two reasons. One is it's labor intensive to come back and repaint the ceiling white and do the trim white. And as you can look around there, I mean, we've put the trim up, so this room's going to have carpet. So we've already put the trim up and we've painted it. So right now, without no carpet, all we have to do is lay the carpet down in this room, put the outlet covers, this room is done. So it, it's a very quick process. We would spend another day to two days if we were painting now this white and painting the ceiling white. You do that on houses that are 250, 300,000, the higher end houses, but these lower end houses, you aren't gonna get your money back out of them. So you wanna just keep it. The other thing is, is this is a light color. We don't go white. We kind of go to a seashell, kind of a little bit of off yellow. One thing I do want to bring up is about the products. We use, uh, this is a Metro paint. It's a recycled paint. It's $11 a gallon. Everywhere you go, you spend $20 to $30 a gallon for paint. This is $11 a gallon. This stuff you can use interior, exterior, on concrete. It sticks to everything. So, it, I mean, for the quality. So, look up your places that have recycled paint. Up here where we're at, it's Metro, but everywhere I've looked over the whole United States and they're, they're all over the place. So I highly recommend going to that quality of paint because it's a better quality paint. One thing you do have to do is with this paint, it's a little heavier and it's a little lumpy. So buy the little screens that come with it when you filter your paint out. It's a bag filter screen. Just dump it in it and you can just pull the screen right out and it, it cleans the paint up so that way you have a good quality paint so it isn't plugging up your sprayers. Thank you for watching this video on how to paint. Like and subscribe to our channel. Comment below and tell us what you'd like to see in any future videos. For this and any more real estate training go to funningtour.com slash YouTube.